travel with me to a parallel universe, an alternate dimension, where everything on Earth is exactly the same, except for one thing. Somewhere on the planet's surface, there's a city that does not physically exist in our reality. A mid-sized dot on the map with a label next to it that reads Zcash. The date is December 1st, 2018. You arrive to Zcash in the morning at 1025 UTC0. Having never read about nor seen images of the city, you've merely heard rumors that everyone is moving to Zcash in the next five years and you wanted to spend a day there to experience it yourself. Being the world-traveling photo blogger that you are, you brought along a point-and-shoot camera and a lust for local experiences. Now you are ready to explore Zeal, a complex colloquialism that describes the physical city of Zcash as well as its inhabitants, culture, public spaces, economy, governance, and ecosystem as a whole. At the very moment of your arrival, you notice a tweet from at moneyguy1 in response to at alchemydc discussing whether Zcash is a shady dark web kind of town or a hub of technological innovation. The tweet is liked by the founder of Zcash, Zuko Wilcox, who is also the head of the dominant governing party, the Zero Coin Electric Coin Company, conversationally, the ZECC. Not coincidentally, it's Fun Week in Zcash, a week-long celebration of recent changes to city infrastructure resulting in, among other things, vast improvements in efficiency. The ZECC has declared it a citywide holiday. The street is littered with posters and flyers featuring bold-type titles such as Invest in the Team, Drive Adoption While Maintaining Quality, and Increase Openness and Sustainability. You hand the driver some cash. They smile and say, Thanks and good luck. I hear this town is volatile. Directly in front of you now there's a bar called The Mine, with a facade of signs and stickers quickly illustrating the love that Zcash has for cryptocurrency. Two years ago, the ZECC went so far as to create a cryptocurrency of its own called ZEC, which embodies ideologies aligned with their mission statement, empower everyone with economic freedom and opportunity. Inside The Mine, a propaganda video produced by the ZECC plays on a loop, advertising ZEC. You meet a local activist who goes by the name Mine Zcash and hands you a flyer with a website printed on it. The conversation you share at the bar helps to shine light on local affairs. Municipal governance of Zcash is, at the moment, somewhat experimental and unlike most democracies, republics, and empires of the contemporary world. While the ZECC maintains the bulk of the city's laws, infrastructure, and monetary policy, they also appear to be the biggest supporter of an up-and-coming political organization calling themselves the Zcash Foundation. Supporters and dissidents alike call this group simply the Foundation. The ZECC has headquarters in the city's Colorado district on the other side of town. The walk there from the mine begins and ends with construction zones. In between, there are neighborhoods of well-developed, long-standing structures and shiny financial district skyscrapers. Many buildings truly express the zeal values of playfulness and experimentation, several of which appear to be abandoned. Some folks live in glass houses. Street art puts the city's spirit on display. Themes of privacy, security, technology, compassion, and curiosity are painted on the walls throughout Zcash. Billboards border public spaces, publicizing current campaigns of the ZECC and the Foundation. An oversized screen in one town square is running a campaign video featuring Chief Technology Officer of the ZECC, Nathan Wilcox, who is also the brother of Zuko. There's many, many ways to like gather information from multiple angles to build really um, deep profiles of people that I, th I think uh, violate most people's expectations about the privacy that they have. The high value put on privacy is especially obvious in Zcash. However, there are cameras in public spaces which were put in place by the ZECC and are transparent and accessible to everyone. The ZECC claims that it will remove these at some point in the future. In the center of the city, there's a large park which is maintained by the various governing parties in Zcash, the ZECC, the Foundation, and Mine Zcash's group, Zcash Community. A park guide is standing at the entrance and introduces herself as Paige Peterson an extraordinarily friendly employee of the ZECC and ambassador to the greater Zcash community. Paige explains that the design of the park, officially called Merkel Grove, is unique in that the sections link together like a long chain, 
Each section is named after stages of plant development, which also happen to match the names of local political campaigns more or less agreed upon by the community. They are, in chronological order, sprout, overwinter, sapling, and blossom. There's a strange emphasis on plant life here, which borders on tree worship. It runs so deep that whispers tell stories of a certain Wilcox brother who refuses to eat vegetables, out of respect for the plant kingdom. Zcash's Colorado district is a cultural center for blockchain startups and hipsters alike. Every wall is plastered with even more art than other parts of town. Open air markets, the sights and sounds of commerce surround you with the undertow hum of electronics. You buy a hot dog for 0 .024 zec, which you had purchased at the mine upon arrival. As the sun sets to the west, behind the perpetual construction of Zcash, the tweet you saw earlier enters your thoughts once again. The landscapes and city sights breeze through your mind's eye, contemplating both the light and dark sides of this grand experiment. The balance and struggle, the beauty and strife, all within this one geographic location. It almost seems too real, a city full of passion and joy, vibrant shadows and neon lights, almost as if this city is just like any other.